Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. It's time for another payday prep. I've been looking forward to this here for this week because I did find some good deals. And although some of the deals is junk food, you know what I think about junk food. You have to have some now and then. The only thing is, is don't bring home a lot of Doritos when your kids like Doritos. So we'll start off with the Doritos. So if you guys remember one of my last payday preps, I ended up getting 10 bags of Doritos because they were 93 cents a bag. Well, I went to the store, to the commissary again, and these were a little more expensive. They were 95 cents a bag, so I only got five bags. So you only see two bags here, but I ended up getting five bags of those Doritos for 95 cents a piece. Now these Reese's Puffs, I got two packs, two of these boxes, and these are the family size boxes. They're pretty big. I don't know if you can, it's behind that uh, cake mix there. But you see, those are the family size boxes. They are 22.9 ounce boxes. I got those boxes, ladies and gentlemen, for $1.49 each. So I got three of them. There's only two of them there, but I ended up getting three boxes of those. I wanted to get a lot more, but I don't think that these will store very well for long term because it does have some fat in it because of the peanut butter. So I didn't get as many as I wanted. I wanted to get enough to fill a five-gallon bucket, but then I thought about it. I looked at the ingredients, and it does have some uh, fat in it. So I'm not sure if it'll store well for a really long term. Although I know that peanut butter will last a very long time, as long as you keep it sealed in the jar. All right, but I got a great deal on those, $1.49 a piece. And this here says, like I said, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But this here says no high fructose corn syrup, no colors from artificial sources, and no artificial flavors. So if that's true, then good for them for doing the right thing. All right, I ended up getting five boxes of stove top, top, uh, stove top stuffing, all right, for a dollar a piece or 97 cents each. I ended up getting two boxes of uh, cake mix. And the reason I got these is because they these these things are like a dollar a piece at the commissary or a dollar ten or something like that a piece and it was if you buy two you get a coupon for a dollar so i ended up getting those two boxes for just over a dollar right and they have a really good expiration date of uh september of 2019 right i ended up getting three boxes of hamburger helper uh also because it was buy three get a dollar off so these ended up costing me about s less than 70 cents a box and as you can see, I got a 15 pound bag of rice. So everything you see here came out to, with the exception of the extra box of cereal that I got, and then the other four uh, bags of Doritos, because I ended up getting six bags, not five, six. All right. So everything that you see here came out to $29. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. We have a few things here that we'll be able to store long term. I know for a fact that cake mix will store for a long for a long time. All right, I've uh, prepared cake, and my wife has prepared cake from cake mix that was well over one year past its expiration. Same thing with the hamburger helper. Same thing with the stovetop. Okay, these items here, the cake mix, hamburger helper, stovetop. These may not be long term food storage, but it depends on what you mean by long term. Okay, what I mean by long term are things that I'm going to pack away like this rice that I'm not going to open this up until I need it. Okay, because I know that if I pack this right, if I pack this the right way and I store it the right way, that this will last me 30 plus years. Okay, so I won't open this until I need it or I won't open it till like 30 years from now. All right. And then I'll start eating it because it'll be getting close to 35 years. All right. Uh, these foods I don't consider long term because these will go in my work and pantry and will probably be uh, use up most of, if not all of this stove top this uh, Thanksgiving coming up. OK, same thing with these things. All right, these are things that we use. We may not make a cake every week, you know, or, or even every month. But I know that within the next year or two, we'll use up, you know, this cake and this hamburger helper and stuff like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I did do another prep. And I want to show you this right here. I picked up some beauties. Let me see if I can give you a better picture. These are some Canadian maple leaves. 
And I got various dates. This one's in 1999. And here's the backside of uh, one of the other ones. So I picked up a few of these. I got an excellent price on them. I think I ended up paying $16.60 a piece. $16.60, ladies and gentlemen, for a pure ounce of silver. And I also picked up a uh, Silver Eagle because I have a birthday gift that I'm giving away. And this is what I usually give away for birthday gifts. All right. So I picked up a little silver. I'm very, very happy with this purchase. I got a great deal for these coins, and I really, really like these coins. These are older ones, which is pretty cool, all right? And they are not circulated, and they're in pretty much mint condition, okay? They're still even in the pack. So when I was at the coin shop, and this is why I recommend that you all uh, have a relationship with the person who sells you your silver. So if you can find a coin shop and build a relationship with, with those people, that's great. Because when I went over there, usually when I go over there and get a little bit of silver, I usually stay and I'll talk and, you know, uh, talk for a few minutes, you know, just back and forth. If they're not really busy, you know, we'll just chit chat. And this time around, I asked him, I was like, how do you know that this is real silver if you have not opened the packet? Well, they have a machine that they take this and they put it on top of it. And the machine can read through the plastic on what the metal composition is and what the percentage of the metal composition is of this. So I had him put one of these on there and he was very happy to do it. You know, uh, I had him put one of these on there and showed me how the, how the machine worked. And it was 99.99. All right, just like it says on the coin, 99.99. So, so that's, um, uh, that's one, of the, one of the reasons why you want to make sure that you have a good relationship with your local coin shop. Just a second, I think someone's breaking into my house. Who goes there? It is I. Oh, no, it's Victor. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's, oh, no. <laughs> We better hurry up, ladies and gentlemen, because you Victor's here. Oh, Victor's asking me why I locked the door. <laughs> Victor, I thought you were working today. I get off early. You got off of work this early? Well, no, I did not go to second job. Oh, you came home so that we can play some Call of Duty? What is this Call of Duty? You don't know what Call of Duty is? Call of, Call of Duty. That's okay, we'll play some Call of Duty. I'm almost done with my payday prep, Victor. Okay, so... Yes, this is nice werewolf You like killers. that? You I like see. the were look, at look at those werewolf killers. Look it, look it. Yeah, Victor calls oh, these werewolf killers. No, 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 we're camera. No, you cannot do that because it's like really blurry. So I was almost getting done with my video, Victor. So listen to this because I'm going to give the audience here a real quick lesson on why they should hold silver or why I... Or why I hold silver, okay? Because I'm not recommending anything. Why? We already talked about why this. Why am I not recommending anything? Because you are not professional. That's right. I'm not a financial advisor, right? What, what Definitely kind of a, not. What kind of a degree do I have? Do you know? I think you have associates Asso in some such. In, in general studies. There you go. Yep, general education. Very good, Victor. So, yes, we've talked about this in the past and in length. However... We keep getting new subscribers. So I want to make sure that the new subscribers, in case they haven't seen one of my old videos, also understand I why it's... I don't know why you get new subscribers. <laughs> I don't understand why you keep interrupting me. So let me finish what I was saying. If there's new subscribers who have not seen one of my old videos on silver, maybe they'll learn something from this and understand why I think that it's very important to preserve your wealth in silver. So ladies and gentlemen, before we finish this off... This is going to be a quick lesson on why I like to hold silver as a wealth preservation tool. Okay, so I went ahead and did a little spreadsheet here on my computer. And I went ahead and I looked back to 1913 at what the price of milk was. Now, in 1913, the price of milk was 9 cents a quart or 36 cents a gallon. All right, so... 36 cents back in 1913 was the equivalent of just a little over a quarter ounce of silver. Okay, just a little over a quarter ounce of silver. At today's spot price, which is around 1470, it's between 1460 and 1470, 
0.26 ounces of silver is equal to $3.81 in nominal terms. That means that if you go and take a quarter ounce of silver to a coin shop and they pay you spot for it, you're going to get about $3.80, okay? Today, the average cost of milk in the U.S., the average cost of milk is $3.50. Now, I know that I've told you guys that up here in Alaska, milk costs more than $4.00 a gallon, sometimes even five. However, this is the average cost of milk in the U.S., okay? It's $3.50. So as you can see, had you held silver from 1913 till today, it would still be able to purchase you the same amount of milk that it did back in 1913. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that's just a short lesson on, on trying to help you understand how it is that, or not how it is, but how silver retains slash maintains its purchasing power. As you can see that holding silver, you would be able to buy the same amount of milk today that you could more than 100 years ago. Uh, had you said that about holding fiat from 1913 till today, it would get you less than one-tenth of a gallon of milk if you were holding fiat instead of silver. All right, ladies and gentlemen, having said that, that is gonna be it for the payday prep. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Share, and if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. This is an awesome community, so click that subscribe button. So remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.